What is up, YouTube? That Neon Channel here for another daily video. So today we're gonna do a video we haven't done in a while. Um, I've been trying to get Shay to do this for her car for a while now, and uh, I can't ever get her to do it. So we're gonna do one on my car until I can get her to do one on her car. So this is a 10 things I like and dislike about my car. Again, I haven't done one of these in a while, so bear with me. This is a 10 things I love. There's going to be a 10 things I hate tomorrow. This is going to be a 10 things I love about my 98 2.4 swapped Dodge Neon RT. So again, this is the 10 things I love about mine. Mine. Not yours. Not Joms. Not my girlfriend's. No one's but mine. This is my 98 RT and what I like about it and what I don't like about it. Today is... Mine. I mean, what I love about it. Um, so let's start off by saying this car is not stock at all, completely. The first thing I love about this car is it's a two-door. It's not like, you know, all the regular four-doors you see on the street. So I think it looks a little bit better, has a little more street cred. Just looks nicer being a two-door instead of a four-door. Tell me if you guys agree with that. Okay, the second thing I like about this car is a 2.4 swap. It's not a 2 single cam or 2 dual cam. So it's got a little bit more power. It's got a little bit more street cred. And I think it's got a little bit more uh, performance upgrades, in my opinion. Because you have the 2.4, like the SRT4s. Which, you know, they have a lot more mod and uh, support. And the performance support. So, that's uh, one thing... That's the second thing I like about this car. Third thing I like about this car is the suspension. This is probably the best suspension I've ever had in my entire life. These are D2 coilovers. They have all kinds of adjustability. They're just really nice. They can be either stiff or not stiff. I don't have the little thingies in there, but they are adjustable completely. And then the rest of the you know, suspension is all polyurethane, you know. It's all been upgraded, and it's really awesome suspension. I love this suspension. So the next thing I like about this car is the exhaust. I think it sounds so great. We have a TTI long header to no Cadillac converter, straight piped, two and a half, all the way back to a AutoZone thrush muffler. And for what it is, it sounds pretty freaking great. I don't think it sounds very ricey at all. You know, most straight pipe four-cylinder cars sound terrible. I think this one sounds pretty, pretty decent. So let me start it up real quick for you. Let it run for a couple seconds until it's warmed up enough that I can rev it. I'll bring it back. And the fifth thing I love about this car is it's cheap and easy to work on, you know. Parts aren't too expensive for, you know, the OEM factory parts. Some of the performance parts ain't too bad unless you're trying to get some rare parts like a ice fan and tank thing. You're going to pay, you know, cams and all that shit. But it's an easy car to work on, you know. It's a first, good first car to learn how to drive, how to work on. You know, if you bust it up, they're cheap to replace. Um... You know, it's a great car to learn stick in. I taught my girlfriend in less than five minutes how to drive a stick in one of these. And, uh, yeah, it's just a really good first car. Number six. It's not a Honda. I like how the engine's set up in here. How the intake is on the front and the exhaust is on the back. So you don't have your exhaust wrapping under your oil pan, heating your oil up. I hate that feature about Hondas. I just 
you know, even the Mitsubishi clips, they had the same 420A engine, but they scrapped the header underneath of the oil to heat the oil. So if you're going to go boost, your oil is already hot. It's just not a very good design. I like the headers on the back, the intake on the front. Makes more sense that way to me. Just my point. Number seven. It does pretty decent burnouts, dude. This thing will smoke some wheels. I'll put a clip in here for you. Um, I'll do it after the video, but this thing does smoke a pretty good one-wheel peel. Wish it was LSD, but we'll get to that on the 10 things I hate. Uh, number eight. The eighth reason I like this car is I get compliments from all ages, you know. Young, old. They're like, dude, what kind of car is that? I'm like, a little neon. They're like, dang, that thing looks pretty sick, dude. I'm like, they're like, I like your car. It's, it's pretty cool, you know. And it's an awesome sleeper. Nobody could know that this car can be modified or can be souped up to do any kind of work. Definitely a good, uh, good sleeper, you know. Number nine. The ninth reason, number nine, almost done. Um, it's got perfect stance. It's good for show car or track car, you know. I think where my fitment is, I can look good for if I want to go to a car show. Or if I want to hit the track and do some nice turns and shit. I know where my tires are sitting right now. I can hit a turn going 60, 70 miles an hour and not even trip the tires. You know, combined with the polyurethane sense, suspension and the D2 coilovers and the nice tire setup I have. These are 16 by 8s at a perfect height. I don't doubt this uh, car to take any turns at any pound. I love my fitment on my wheels. Number 10, the last thing, the last thing is that this car helped me build the awesome family I have right now on YouTube and on Instagram. Um, if it wasn't for this car and my girlfriend, I wouldn't have the following that I have on YouTube or Instagram. And I'm really happy that, you know, all you guys are here for me and want to watch my videos. And I thank you for watching all my videos, you know. I never thought that the little Neon could grow a channel with over a thousand subscribers. It's just awesome, you know. I started out as a joke and just for fun, but it's actually built somewhere and that I want to, uh, I want to try to take, you know, definitely want to keep going, keep this going. But that's it for the, uh, 10 things that I love about my 98 2.4 swap Dodge Neon RT. Um, be sure to watch the 10 things that I hate about my 98 Dodge Neon RT make sure you hit that subscribe button if you ain't subscribed so you don't miss out on any of the videos we post Monday through Friday hit that little bell the notification bell because we do post five days a week and a lot of people don't watch my videos to subscribe I don't know if you don't get the notification or if you just don't want to watch that video but hit that bell you know so you can get the notification that I uh, post every day because YouTube has had a problem Again, we do post Monday through Friday. And, uh, like always, remember to hit that like button if you ain't, if you like the video. Remember to hit that subscribe button if you ain't subscribed to the channel. Uh, if you ain't following us on Instagram, go follow us on Instagram. Mine's that neon channel, all one word, underscore 2.0. And Shay's is that underscore neon underscore channel. Go follow us on Facebook at Joseph Shaler, that neon channel. If you have any pictures or videos of your car you want to put at the end of my video, send them to the email address in the description below, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.